Hello. Um, let's hope three third times the charm. So, um, the first time I got it, uh, no, I hadn't got it. It was really shaky. Um, the story, I mean. The second time I'd gotten it right, it, it was actually perfect. Uh, but the sound sucked. I couldn't get the sound to work. So let's hope this time I'll actually get the sound working. I will check it before uploading this time. So, yeah. Um, right, so back when we left off. Oh, this is so repetitive. Back when we left off, um, Takaron was contacted by the government. He told them that he was doing nothing. He, he, he told them that he'd caught K-9, but um, he was too much for him. So um, the guys at the government told him to um, report back to headquarters. And so he did, but he brought his new friends with him. So once they had gotten there, uh uh right uh k9 saw th saw that the building was there but no one else did um so um the the other people tested him they were like are you sure are you sure your eyes are working right are you are you like in an illusion or are you handling a hangover? Whatever. It Are you intoxicated? And uh, he told them he was fine. But then, um, out of nowhere, um, Jester appears and um, attacks K9. Um, but no one else sees him. But here's the tricky part. Um, Canine can see things that other people don't. But the problem is he can't discern whether it's real or fake. So, um, Jester could be real, he could be fake. The building could be real, it could be an illusion as well. So, no one is certain what is. So, Canine, no one. Basically, none of the Toa are certain what is happening. Um, so one of the Toa who was there at the at the, at the time, whose name was Kegekega, um, basically one second he sees the building, the other second he it's gone, basically. Um, and the torn are gone. Uh, all the people who worked the at the office were gone completely just there <laughs> like he blinked and then boom well poof more like it's not there anymore um so Tekron comes to a conclusion that um um when canine uh let like um okay here we go so um the toa who go to the that place they all go there individually there's there is only like a few um toa there at the same time and the reason for that is that um, the energy inside of a Toa can slightly counteract the, um, illusion that the building does exist. So that means that, um, that Jester is, um, um, can only take Canine alone. Um, if... If canine is with other people, then Jester cannot um, fight with him. Canine can't even can't see him because 
basically he isn't even there. The reason for that is um, the Toa are around friends who are willing to protect them and therefore they are protecting them. So I think that was that that worked pretty well. I hadn't done that in the other takes. So meanwhile, um, Gigaltrax is being constantly haunted by, um, like say, like Jester basically just poisoned him. Like that's 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 essentially what he's doing to him. He's poisoning him with nightmares. Um, so Gigeltrax is so frustrated and that he, um, he's forced to actually leave his body. So the antidermis that makes up Gigeltrax separated from his, the, um, empty shell that was his body. And since he's a Makuta, he has the ability, um, to create creatures. Um, in this case, he made um, ten different um, uh, artificial beings which he called golems. Now the golems co are in all different shapes and sizes and he can switch to them depending on what he needs to do or his condition. So yeah, the idea is that Gigaltrax created the golems as replacement bodies. But it was difficult because um, he didn't have his body, just his antidermis. And he had to leave, um, he was in such a hurry that he, he wasn't able to collect all of his Antidermis before leaving his body. Oh, only like uh, three, like uh, three quarters of his um, uh, his presence and his his um his consciousness left his left his body. The rest was still being tortured by the night by the nightmares and uh, we'll get back to that in a second um, so this was actually quite a while before um, Tacheron made it back to the so-called office but uh, yeah because the uh, the trip was a very long trip but I skipped past it because it's it's not really important uh, they probably fought some Makuta, but they weren't very important. So, yeah, the, all you have to know is that nothing was important, but Callum Shadow, if you want to, you can put some details behind their trip, and, um, that about, just about sums it up for this update. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope that the sound is working. And I'll see you um, later. Deploy money and robots. <laughs>